friends in this video we will be learning the basics of frames and quality of service in wi-fi we do know the seven layers of osi model that is physical layer on the lowest then data link network transport session presentation and application layer on the top the data link layer is divided into LLC and MAC layer. The upper layer does not know by what kind of interface the data will get transmitted. The interface can be Ethernet or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth etc. It is MAC and Fi that takes care of the interface and completely manages the medium. While the data enters MAC layer as MSDU and it gets appended with MAC header and becomes MPDU. This MPDU enters file layer as PSDU and it gets appended with phi header and becomes PPDU that is finally transmitted in the air. The frames used in Wi-Fi are broadly divided as control frame, data frame, management frame and extension frame. Control frames are used to control the channel and are time critical. Data frames can be QoS or non-QoS. They are actual frames that needs to be exchanged and are received from or transmitted to the LLC layer. Management and extension frames are used to manage the BSS. Now, let us understand the QoS and non-QoS. Consider different types of data. The data can be videos in YouTube or voice calls or emails or photos, etc. In non-QoS, all data are treated equally. But in QoS, data are prioritized as access category. The importance of QoS can be understood by this example. Consider we are watching the video in 4K and we are also browsing internet at the same time. Then the internet may suffer, but if the 4K streaming suffers, then we get glitches that are not desirable. The QoS stations divides the data into four access categories, that is, background, best effort, videos, and voice data. Now, consider a non-QoS station is associated with non-QoS AP or QoS AP. In this case, non-QoS data transmission takes place. For unicast data frames, the receiver will send the acknowledgement. For group address frames, the receiver will not send acknowledgement. Now, consider QoS station is associated with non-QoS AP. In this case, the QoS station acts as non-QoS. Now, consider QoS station is associated with QoS AP. In this case, the receiver will send acknowledgement if the unicast frame has set any policy other than no ACK policy. In this case, the receiver will send acknowledgement if the group addressed frame has set DMS or the GCR block ACK retransmission policy. For unicast frame received with no ACK policy, the receiver will not send acknowledgement. For group addressed frame that has not set DMS or GCR block ACK retransmission policy, the receiver will not send acknowledgement. Now, consider a non-QoS BSS, that is, non-QoS AP. In this case, 
all the stations associated behave as non-QoS even if they are QoS. In the case of QoS BSS, that is QoS AP, the traffic goes to QoS station with AC corresponding to the user priority and the traffic goes as non-QoS to non-QoS stations. The ACs are mapped to 8 user priority. Background AC has lowest priority while voice AC has highest priority. Let us understand how the user priority is assigned in different cases. If TID is between 0 to 7, the user priority has the same value as per TID. If TID is between 8 to 15 and T class is present, then user priority has value from T class. If TID is between 8 to 15 and T class is not present and T spec is present, then user priority has value from T spec. If TID is between 8 to 15 and both T class and T spec are not present, then user priority has the default value as 0. These are few points for QoS and non-QoS. Infrastructure BSS and independent BSS can be QoS or non-QoS. MBSS and DMG BSS are always QoS. for this lecture. Thank you for watching this video.